Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of 2 crazy replays today on Coda Letter Edition with a TVP! Ah, so this game is very interesting and very good and I'm very proud of myself uh, for that game how I played. However, uh, it's very difficult for me to play against Protoss because I found out that TVP Mac it is viable but getting safely into the mid game is a hell of a task. It's so difficult. And that was the reason why I switched back to Bio against Protoss. And as you know I don't have any any experience with Bio against Protoss, so this was a practice match against this guy from the clan Pro Kings. The Grand Master League Protoss born in right bottom position, it is cheese legs. Yep, that was a practice match against the GM Protoss. And he was quite good, uh, I have to say, yes, really good. Not top 25, but really good. He's playing against me, the blue turns born in left top position, it is Alex Sasha. And yes, I, I mean, I, I watched quite some TVP and I I have a rough, not a feeling, it's, it's not a feeling, it's a rough plan or some knowledge uh, on how to do stuff against Protoss and, and when and why, but not really, it's, it's not like my TVC where I know you go for that then because why reason stuff and I can explain the whole matchup. In TVP it was for a long time so it still is that I have just no clue how to scout them properly, how to react properly. The smack in HOTS yes sure but it was difficult because the unit composition and the positioning was so difficult and with bio I just lack in experience so hmm. but we will see. Cheese lag so far, double gas Mm, two in each gas geyser means most likely blink, but can also be oracle, you never know. So yeah, let's see what this little SUV can see. So far it's not a whole lot. Uh, salad gets made, produced and cancelled, as it looks like. Uh, there's Nexus. Ooh, chasing, chasing. Oh, attacking, attacking. Okay. And there's the Reaper. Oh, come on. I should be able to get the probe kill. Mm, the Mothership Core will be out soon. Oh, come on. Don't shoot at the gateway. And now the Mothership Core is out. I could have killed maybe two probes. But one is okay. And I'm going for a 3 Rex opening, as you can see here. So. Uh, 4GG or Pulse uh, 3 Rex opening. Very strong if you know what to do, how to do and why. Uh, I don't know everything there, but it's okay. So let's see. Get in the command center. Roughly at the same time as Tree's leg is getting his Nexus. And there we see the Twilight Council! There's the Reaper! So the Reaper should move in uh, between the minute 5 and 5.30 to see the Twilight or the Robotics, to see the tech choice. But for now the Reaper is just moving around like everywhere and I don't know why. So for now I still have no clue what's coming. It is Blink. But it's not being chrono boosted out. He's probing instead, so most likely a defensive Blink. And that is very important. Oh! The overcharge. Okay. And there's the scan, of course. Because if you try to hide something that aggressively, then there has to be something. And seeing the robotics, yeah? Okay. I should be able to read into that because I saw no chrono boost on the Twilight Council, but you never know. You need to be safe. Could be a fake out. Uh, fake out. So we need the bunker. 
at the natural end in the main base. Stim is being researched. And I'm getting an engineering bay just for plus one. And turrets as well, I guess. Oh, just one stalker. Might get a kill here. Yep, good focus fire. Really nicely done. Hmm. So spreading out the units a little bit. And he's gotten some more gateways, but he's not going up to six or seven. It's just three too far so far, so yeah, really defensive playstyle. Now he should spend more chrono boosts, I guess, a little bit. And oh his supply cap, that's not too good. But yeah, it's looking it's looking okay. Upgrades are also looking okay. I should I really should get plus one zoom, I guess. Come on. Or maybe a factory, something. I mean, it's it's important, right? But yeah, with, with uh, forcing the bunker and the turrets, just in case of DTs, you don't know. Uh, it could be blink and then some DTs, and then you're unsafe. I mean, you need to be safe. It's, you need to cut corners there a little bit. But it's sad that I cut them that heavily. I mean, plus one attack would be really helpful here. Taking the gases now as well. But yeah. Come on. Yeah. Way too late in my opinion. But army supply wise it's looking quite okay. I could with stim and I got stim ready. I could move out with stim and try to poke a little bit. Uh, there we see a forge being added. And a lot of more gateways as well as the robotics bay. And I'm almost supply cut again. There's the refinery, the fourth one, that's good. Uh, combat shields not being researched so far. And it's very risky to move out like that with mm, units at the front. That is good, have one marine scouting. And the rest at a pack, that's important. So he will see this move out, the stim timing. And uh, there are his stalker, they are in the main base, okay. And normally, I think, yes, I had to react to the blink I scouted, but normally I should have uh, Medivax out right now. Like, two Medivacs and two on the way, halfway done. And as you can see, the starport is not being finished, so just now it finishes, which is bad. Really bad. Also, there's no third base being produced for me, so everything is delayed because of the blink and my bad macro. Look at the overmans. I was so nervous against this guy. Oh, so many pylons. Hmm, killing a marine here and there. Ah, forcing out a stim, seeing that there are no medivacs. That's good for him. Oh, the zealots don't have charged yet, but soon they will have. There's the robotics facility producing a colossus. And he's getting a plus one armor. And a lot more zealots. Hmm, and I'm getting additional barracks before the command center. Uh, scan reveals not too much. I would love him to have the mothership core right there. Between the natural and the main base so we can put on overcharge either this or that nexus. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's okay with having the whole army here. It's okay, I guess. Uh, so, if both players are quite equal in skill, macro-wise, the turn should be ahead like 20 to 40 supply, depending on how the game went and how greedy the turn was or the protoss was. But as you can see, I'm not that good, I'm equal in army supply and that's bad. That's, that's really not too good. Also, the upgrades are quite bad. Uh, he's also just getting plus 2 with the forge. So no uh, attack upgrade so far, which is good for me. He definitely has the gas to go for double forge, but he isn't doing that. And with the charge slots, it's getting very difficult. Oh, scan sees nothing. Really interesting pylon placement there. So he doesn't see that I'm taking down those debris. With my bio force. It's a lot of bio, but I need Viking soon against the Colossus. 
Yep. So, steaming forward with a small portion of I'm steaming everything. Try to split and kite as best as I can. And it's looking not too good, to be honest. Oh, but I broke through. And the Colossus goes down. But at what cost? Ooh, focusing the wrong medivac here. And overall unit lost that quite even. I lost a bit more, but I killed a Colossus. Was that worth it? Maybe. But most likely not. I mean, I don't know. It's very difficult to tell here. Ooh, a bit of my drop. This could do massive damage. But, uh oh. Uh, I'm staying defensive here. He sees the Widow Mines. He knows they are there. Uh, him, ooh. He needs to see them. Oh no! Big splash damage! Kills a lot. The Concave is good for me. And I might get one Colossus here. Uh, maybe not. Have to pull back. Uh, the Widow Mine definitely helped. The Bunker still there is good for me. And I get one Colossus. Maybe the second one as well. I need to be really careful here. Oh no, don't 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 stay there. Oh, that's okay, recalls out. Okay. I guess that's fine. So now he knows I've taken that base. Uh, supply wise we are still even. And I'm getting 2-2, two, two, but he's getting plus 3 armor and nothing else. So if that finishes. I should be ahead in upgrades and that could help me. So there are two Vikings against two Colossus, that's not good. Takes way too long, but he got almost no Stalker left. And this Colossus is very low already, he will lose it. Uh, so one Vi two Vikings for a Colossus is good, I would say. Uh, Trade-wise, and ooh, Widow Mines. Five kills, eight kills. I totally missed that, but that was good, I would say. Ooh, they will fire again soon. Yeah, getting some more kills. And there's his army. Okay, so he's about to get Storm. He's getting a cannon, but that won't finish in time. Oh no, that's not good. So where's the... Ah, uh, there we see the Ghost Academy, finally. So... <laughs> a double drop? And a small army there. Oh! No, a real big drop, but it's getting spotted. This observer sees everything. Uh-oh, yeah. Oh, feedback, nice feedback there. But this drop finds all those probes. I find a Colossus as well. There are some Stalker to defend, I guess he has it. Good defense, it was scary for a moment, but with the feedback he defends quite good. And the Stalker and the Salad Warfen are enough to defend that one. And force me back, but he's behind, now he's behind in army supply I guess. Ah, uh, slightly, but he's behind in economy. And that's good, oh the drop went in there again. But we'll get taken out for sure. Yeah, that's expensive. Uh, just four Vikings against six Vikings against two Colossus. This is okay. Eight would be better, but six is okay. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the APM currently. Oh wow. Look at that, playing like a pro there, hoo-hoo! At least I try to. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's not bad. Storm is being researched now, it's on the way at least, I mean. And... Uh, there is no observer here. So he doesn't see it. And it's the same like against Sir. just move in with a small portion of your army because of storms. Uh, it's the same with Banelings. Oh, that position for the Vikings is super. It's really good. And uh, the Salads are really tanky here. The kiting back is not really good there. And one Colossus remains active. And that should be enough. Ooh. Oh, the Colossus takes too much damage. It falls eventually. 
uh, no drop in the main base, so Tools and the uh, uh, Templar, but he can clear it and kill all the medivacs. Most ah, uh, one gets away. I spot the pylon, I guess. Yes, but still. Oh, that one Viking. <laughs> nice. Nice try. So now storms are finished. Uh, but he doesn't have any high templar left, right? Uh, two. In the main base, okay. When will we see finally ghosts? <laughs> there they are. There's still this bunker. Very good. There should be a. Oh. How many SCVs do I have? Ooh, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. So, Cheeselex army is looking quite solid. Mm, yeah, I guess he could need more gates. Like, four more gates and one extra robotics and the fourth base. That would be really nice. But for now, he's just focusing on Muckring and getting an army together. Well, I get the ghosts out as best as I can. And 3-3. Three, three. That should help me as well. Another command center being produced here. Oh, there's a drop. Ah, he doesn't see it. Oh, that's a really good spot to drop some wounds. Ah, storms! Oh, do I get one? I get one High Templar, so one High Templar for a medivac full of Marines. Uh, normally not that good, but at that stage of the game, eh, I don't know, difficult to tell. As I said, I like this experience, I don't know. I, I would say, no, it's not really worth it, but it's okay. So now I see his army, um, he's moving out, standing on a pile in there. So let's see this engagement, how it goes. Oh, the concave is too good. The EMP misses. Oh, those EMPs could be big. Where are the EMPs? We got just two storms and they are hitting massive. Uh, the planetary holds strong there. The Colossus dying slowly but surely. Oh, the planetary is so low, gets repaired. Uh, but I can't clear it. The planetary, so close. Oh, and he doesn't get it. And I guess with that fight, I won the game. And it could be the case here. I mean, I'm 50 supply ahead. Sure, there's Warpin. Um, but... He lost all the Colossus. Uh, he's on one Robo, Robo only. And uh, just a couple of gates. So that's difficult. And he's taking a fourth base, so he's spreading out quite thin now. Oh, the Marauder. Try to get it. Uh, he doesn't want to morph them. Oh, and now he loses another one. Ah, that's, that that was a good pickup. Two, two items that are getting another one. Oh, snipes there as well. Focus fire. And now he has to move down here, but he will lose the space most likely. Uh, try to see if there is one. Nope. Yeah, and the ghosts are really helpful here, especially against the Templar, but also against the Zealots because of the extra damage. There is a cloak. He doesn't see him, but storms them. Oh, big EMPs hitting them. No more storms. Archons get more. Look at the supply. I guess I got it. GG. And after that, I was so pumped with adrenaline that I wasn't able to play another game. So bio is possible, and I guess I won just because I'm doing lots of mistakes. But still, it's possible, but it's super hard. And not really fun, I guess. If you can play bio, maybe it's fun. But if you're really unexperienced, then it feels so unfair sometimes. One more game. This will be the last game I've cast for Heart of the Swarm, of my replay packs. And then I'm done. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.